here's the deal. Here's the deal. The woman had no weapon, all right? Cops surround the car. They've got their guns drawn. I mean, they're right, like, if this is the side of the car, I'm the cop. I could touch the side of the car, all right? They have their pistols drawn, and they've got them aimed at the woman. They want to stop her. Now, everybody's talking about how wonderful these Capitol Police were. In Congress, somebody got up and said, let's have a moment of silence or whatever in honor of these brave American heroes. Yeah, who managed to kill an unarmed woman uh, uh, in, a car, in a car with her baby. All right? Plus, they're like right next to the car. Here's the car, here's them. In fact, Albert, can you show that first clip? Because don't do the audio, just do the picture. Uh, because you can see they're right up next to the car. They've got the guns pointing in the window. See that? See how close they are? Look at that. Look how close they are. Now, Albert, what would be the best idea to stop this person at this point? I'm no uh, officer of the law, yeah. but I would say shoot out the tires. Oh, the hey, time. Albert, what a, you're an idiot. You've got to be a moron because if that's what they could have done, that's what they would have done, right? I would think so. That's the first thing I thought. You're right there by the tires. Shoot them all out. Heroes, my ass. Murderers, yes. Okay? They're murderers. This woman did not present, you know, if, if a bomb had gone off or there was something in the car, they, they looked in the car there. At this point, they were looking in the car, right? They had to see there was a baby in the car. You know, they, and they were, there was no weapon. The woman wasn't pointing a weapon back at them. All she was trying to do at this point, I guess, was get away. Now, I don't know how this whole thing started. For all we know, it could have been something as simple as she went the wrong way, got into a barricade, everybody said a halt, and she took off because she was scared and frightened. No, I read that she did have some problems in the past. She has had problems in yes. the past. Whatever the case, she didn't have a weapon. So did, did they have to kill her? Does that give them the right to shoot her down in cold blood? No. And of course they're going to say she had problems. That's the only way they justify what they did. And they're going, well, you know, the car is a weapon. And she hit a cop with the car. Oh, my God. You know, the cop is probably going to be in a cast for a couple of weeks, right? He's not that terribly injured, is he? I don't think so. Not from what I heard. So he'll be in a cast for a couple of weeks. She's going to be in the cold, cold ground for the rest of her life. And everybody's going, oh, these brave, terrific uh, people at the mall and everything, and up and down Washington, these Capitol Police, they're just, they're just heroes. Why? Because they shot an unarmed woman with a baby? Why don't you just shoot the damn tires out? That would have been a way of slowing her down. Then when she couldn't get away, you could ascertain the situation a little better. But instead, you didn't shoot out the tires so she could get away. And let's say it was loaded with a bomb. Let's just say that arbitrarily, all right? It's loaded with a bomb, all right? Uh, if you don't want that car traveling around if it's loaded with a bomb. So the first thing you do is shoot out the tires. Look at this picture in back of me. Look how close those guys are. They're all surrounding the car. And what are they pointing at? the woman in the car. None of them were thinking of shooting out the tires. What a bunch of morons. Am I off base on this one, Albert? No, I'm with you on this one. Usually I'm not, but I'm with <laughs> you on this one. Yeah. Because you, you always talk about shooting the legs. I don't go for the shooting the legs thing. No, I, I just but think, in this case, the tires would why be certainly the first thing why, to do. What is this preoccupation to begin with there was no way this car was going to get in anywhere that was going to cause a problem because there are barricades everywhere. I mean, even the entrance uh, to the White House that she supposedly went to originally was like there were still 12 more checkpoints before she could get to the White House. All right? 
she, so she's unarmed. She's got a baby in the car, which they clearly can see inside the car there. All right? And instead of shooting out the tires or instead of trying to slow her down, uh, they decide, well, we'll just kill her. Why not? You know, she just, she just hit a cop. Oh, my God, she just hit a cop. Now, admittedly, there are people out there who, what they do is they commit suicide, and it's called suicide by cop. What this is, is when you do something crazy like this, and then you just stand there and let them shoot you down, and then you go, that's suicide by cop. It's not uncommon, okay? Uh, but it's been a, uh, it's been a major uh, problem over the years. Uh, but I don't know if that was the case here. But man, this was just, this was strange stuff. And to say that these guys were heroes, these guys were the biggest fucking cowards I could think of. And here's why they're cowards. They're cowards because they shot an unarmed person. And that's the definition of a coward. Okay, so don't make these guys out to be big heroes. Now, I'm not defending her. Maybe she did something horrible or she was, maybe, maybe she was what she figured was up to no good. But, you know, I kind of question whether uh, a person who's up to no good brings their baby with them. I mean, I just, I, I don't understand that. I mean, maybe the woman was that crazy. But crazy still shouldn't get you killed. We have a tendency in this country to kill first, ask questions later. And the truth will never be known about this incident because they will do everything they can to make her look bad and make the cops look good. And uh, we'll just be sitting back uh, figuring that, oh, she was some crazy person. And thank God he, they shot her because God knows what she could have done. I mean, God, that kid may have had a stroller for crying out loud. How horrible would that be? Folks, you know... You use the most possible restraint in a situation like this. When you ascertain that there's no real danger, except you've got a crazy person on your hands, you don't kill them. That, that's just wrong. So please don't give me this stuff, this crap about these guys being heroes, because they're, they're not.